What is up guys? This is Thomas A. Messon, and today I'm going to show you how to customize any Android phone. Today I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S3 as always, and uh, stay tuned on how to customize it. Real fast, can you please like this video and subscribe? And another thing, I made a new YouTube channel, it's just for gaming, so if you like uh, gaming, please subscribe to that channel. Education will be on the left side. The channel is called Dymax HD or DYMX HD, and I just cover gaming, um, Black Ops, you know, those kind of games. So if you guys can please subscribe to that channel, that would be awesome. So stay tuned for how to customize your Samsung Galaxy S3 or any phone. Okay, see. Okay, so this falls on the lines of a tips and tricks video. This is going to be on how to customize your phone. I already have a tips and tricks video. Um, so you should definitely check that out because that is also a great video, but this video is just for customizing So this will work for any Android phone, but today I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S3 But I'm just going to show you how to customize it. So first we're gonna I'm going to teach you how to customize the home screen So let's go to settings and then we're going to go to security Okay, make sure your screen lock is on swipe your screen lock options, um, shortcuts, make sure they're on. If you hit shortcuts, you can customize whatever app that you want on the bottom. Information ticker, this is just the news, um, the little black bar that you can scroll from the bottom. Make sure that's on. Camera quick access is where you hold it down and tilt your camera, and you can go straight to camera. I have clock checks, I have dual clock off, weather on, ripple effect on, help text is off. Wake up, wake up in lock screen is off. Set up wake up commands I have off, but I also have a video on how to set up the wake up commands on my channel, so you can also check that out. Okay, so the next thing for customizing your lock screen is owner information. Uh, you can type in whatever you want. Mine says Thomas Messon's phone, so if I lost my phone, someone happened to pick it up, they can see that it's my phone, and they will hopefully give it to me. Okay, so that is basically it for the home screen itself. As you can see, there's this little uh, notification bar. It says, Taliban welcomes Afghan. Who shot U.S. soldier as a hero? Okay, cool. So as you can see, there's little ripple effects. If you want to go straight to your uh, messages, all you do is hit up like that. And um, Okay, so now I want to show you how to customize your home screen. Um, if you're probably wondering what background is that, uh, this is the Jelly Bean background. I don't have Jelly Bean 4.1, but I just downloaded the wallpaper from the App Store. But the best wallpaper app that I recommend is, let's just hold it down. Uh, if you hold it down, you can go to add a home screen, home screen, lock screen, homes, and lock screen. So I'm just going to hit home screen. Um, if you download the Jelly Bean wallpaper from the App Store, you can get all these cool uh, wallpapers. As you can see, you can just get all of them. Um, but the best wallpaper app that I recommend is Pick Speed Wallpapers. You can get this from the App Store for free, and there is a wallpaper for everyone. There's thousands of thousands of wallpapers in here. Uh, we're just going to go to Color. And you can pick whatever color you want. So let's just say I'm going to hit the black. And then there's wallpapers that are just black. Now, I do recommend getting a black background because this is an OLED uh, screen. So the bl if a pixel is black, it doesn't uh, release any light. So it'll save you some battery. So I definitely recommend having a black background. Now, if you want it fully black, there's a fully black background right there. Um, and all you do is hit that and then set as wallpaper set and now as you can see you have your black background okay so now I'm going to add some widgets and some apps just to make your Samsung Galaxy S look that much better you can also get live wallpaper but that also uh, uses up more battery but that also looks really cool to access the live wallpaper pretty easy go to home screen and then go to live wallpapers and I will show you a live wallpaper so here is the live wallpaper as you can see these little dots are moving around um, okay so we're going to go to widgets to go to widgets you go to apps and you can actually just there's apps and then widgets on the top 
and you can add any widget you want just to customize your phone. This is really why I like Android, because you can just customize your phone to any liking that you want. Let's just say I want uh, a Facebook application. Put the Facebook application there just to make your phone look that much cooler. Uh, you can't do this on Apple. Um, if you want to move stuff around, you can obviously move the clock to the side to the right or left and I'm just gonna put it back you can put your uh, you can put a different clock to see what the weather is the time um, if you don't like TouchWiz TouchWiz comes with the Samsung Galaxy S3 and you want a different launcher you can obviously go to the Play Store and type in launcher okay so once you go into launcher there's so there's a uh, free launchers uh, and if you don't know what a launcher is, a launcher is basically, um, as you can see on TouchWiz, it's very smooth, and you can go to the right or left uh, apps. If you change the launcher, uh, the animations might be a little bit different. Everything is just going to be a little bit different um, to the settings, the effects, and the transitions are going to be a little bit different. But I like TouchWiz, so I'm going to keep it at TouchWiz. So... As you can see, this is how I customize my phone. You can also customize the bottom part of these. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how I customized my phone. So if you like how I customized it, uh, you can do the same. Uh, uh, what I usually do is I like having uh, the YouTube um, widget so I can watch all the YouTube videos. I put the little music icon uh, player right there so I can just go to music very fast and just play it. Uh, I put my Twitter there, my pictures, and the clock right in the middle. Um, the reason why I put this clock is because I think it looks cool. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like videos like these, please comment and tell me what you think about these kind of videos. If you want to see more, just uh, comment. So can you please take two seconds out of your day and like this video? Also, take one second out of your day and subscribe. So, uh, yeah. One more thing, can you please subscribe to Dimax HD? That is my new gaming channel. So, okay, guys, see ya.